Hello and welcome to the Amcrest tutorial showing you how to add your Wi-Fi and PoE cameras to Blue Iris. We will be using a 1080p Pro HD Wi-Fi camera for this video. With Blue Iris, you will be able to live view your cameras, save recordings to your computer's hard drive, configure motion detection, and a lot more. To start, make sure your camera is connected to and configured on your local network. For help setting this up, please visit amcrest.com forward slash support. Then, click Indoor Wi-Fi and PoE Cameras, choose your camera, click Network Access, then choose Local Access and Wi-Fi Setup on a PC or Mac from the list. This guide will walk you through the steps and you can also watch the video if you need more guidance. Once your camera is properly working on your local network, you will need to download the Blue Iris software on your computer. To do this, go to amcrest.com forward slash Blue Iris then click here to download the installer. Next, locate your download, either in your browser window or in your downloads folder, and run the installer. Go through the prompts and, when finished, launch the software. You will have a 15-day free trial to use Blue Iris. If you like it, you can go back to the website and purchase the software. Once you're on the main screen for Blue Iris, click the plus sign icon in the top right here. This will take you straight to the Add Camera page. Here, you can enter your camera's local IP address in the Address field. If you don't know what this is, please refer to the local setup guide featured previously in this video. Then, enter your camera's username and password. For the make, choose Amcrest. And for the model, we will be choosing Pro HD 1080p RTSP forward slash HTTP. Now, we want to set the media port here. This will be the same thing as the HTTP port for your camera, which is 80 by default. This would also be where you can set your RTSP or ONVIF ports if you choose to set up the camera with those protocols. Once finished, click OK to continue. This will bring you to the new camera page. Here, you have the option to adjust multiple more settings before starting your live feed by clicking OK one more time. Now that you see your camera, you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other tutorial videos from Amcrest Technologies.